Now, tomorrow is the end of an era. It's the eve of new beginnings. Now, just after the ball drops in Times Square tomorrow night, a new day begins. Now, we're not talking about New Year's. We're talking about the end of Bill de Blasio as mayor of New York City. So, undoubtedly, the worst mayor in American history. So, tonight, we say goodbye to Bill de Blasio. Now, Bill de Blasio was born Warren Wilhelm Jr., and he did what no other mayor dreamed possible. In just a few short years, he has completely ruined New York City. By almost every measure, he has uh, been a complete and utter disaster. So, since Bill de Blasio took over, murders in New York City have spiked by nearly 50 percent. Rapes are up by 26 percent. According to a report by Busby, which looked at data from the American Housing Survey, along with other federal data, New York City is by far the dirtiest city in the country. New York uh, uh, City also had more than two million homes with pest infestations, which include rats, roaches, and mice. A state audit confirmed the filth, with most uh, inspected city blocks and sidewalks found to be dirty. So it's confirmed. So under Bill de Blasio, New York City Transit is disgusting, too. According to internal Mass Transit Authority documents released earlier this year, subway cars have been soiled with blood, vomit, urine, and feces. In June of this year, for example, there were over 130 incidents of soiled train cars. That included 27 trains covered in poop, 26 covered in vomit, and 21 in urine. When Bill de Blasio hilariously tried to run for president, this show was one of the first to challenge him on that. The city is dirty, and it's getting dirtier. One of my producers told me just yesterday that he was in a crowded subway car and a man dropped his trousers and defecated in the middle of the car, and no one did anything about it. And that's a metaphor for what's happening. I go there regularly, and I have my whole life, and every time I go under your mayorship, it is dirtier, there's filth on the sidewalks. Do you notice any of that? You weakened we, the sanction against public urination, we and as a result, in this the city, city smells like urine. No. Do you notice I, that? Uh, Tucker, it's just not it. true. I go all over New York City all the time. I'm sorry. I've been here for decades and decades. This city is more orderly and cleaner and safer than it's been for many, many years. We got more to do, and we're going to keep making it better. So Bill de Blasio hasn't done anything to fix the filth. He doesn't even seem interested. Instead, he is too busy erasing history. Bill de Blasio supported the removal of the Teddy Roosevelt statue outside New York City's American Museum of Natural History, which is a museum Roosevelt's family helped found. In his last few months in office, he helped remove a statue of Thomas Jefferson from the City Hall, where it stood for the last 187 years. It's no wonder that hundreds of thousands of New Yorkers have fled the city, and that was even before COVID. The city's population dropped by over 200,000 from 2017 to 2018, which at the time was the largest drop since the 70s. Over 300,000 have fled between March and October of this year alone. Former President Trump, he summed it up best, Bill de Blasio is a joke. Mayor Bill de Blasio taking questions for the first time as a presidential candidate, already trading jabs with Donald Trump. De Blasio responding to the president who made his feelings known on Twitter, calling de Blasio the worst mayor in the U.S., adding, he is a joke, but if you like high taxes and crime, he's your man. NYC hates him. And as for the voters who know him best right here in New York City, a recent Quinnipiac poll shows 76 percent of them say he shouldn't run. So during his failed run for president, de Blasio cost taxpayers $320,000 by using the NYPD as security detail. Now, uh, he still hasn't paid that back, and his office hasn't said if he ever will. That's in addition to the $850 million taxpayer dollars de Blasio's wife supposedly lost track of while overseeing her Thrive NYC mental health scheme. So these are just a few of the reasons why we'll be happy to see Bill de Blasio leave. But before we celebrate the end of Bill de Blasio, we would be remiss if we didn't look back at some of his greatest hits. Now, we're going to start with the rough beginning when his clumsiness killed Chuck the Groundhog. This footage from Groundhog Day 2014 shows freshly inaugurated Mayor Bill de Blasio appearing to drop Staten Island Chuck. A week after the de Blasio fumble, the Groundhog did a few more events before being found in its zoo space deceased on February 9th. So Bill de Blasio's sloppiness didn't end there. Then there was the time he tweeted and then deleted a picture of himself staring at a woman's chest. Now, we're not kidding. 
His line of sight was so clearly visible in the reflection of his sunglasses. I mean, <laughs> or how could we forget when he sounded like a chipmunk at a campaign rally? We're doing something that should have been done a long time ago in this country. We're passing legislation this year to guarantee working people, like every other industrialized country in the world, to guarantee working people, by law, two weeks paid vacation every year. <laughs> All right. Then this year, the clumsy and dumb mayor of New York City, the slob, um, uh, stuffed his face with French fries to try to bribe New Yorkers to get vaccinated. Do you say free fries when you get vaccinated? Um, I got vaccinated. You're saying I could get this, you delicious fries? Just think of this when you think of vaccination. Mmm. Vaccination. If only de Blasio cared enough about cleaning up New York as he did about putting the jab in your arm. Well, farewell, Bill de Blasio. You won't be missed. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.